Hey, groups, uh, it is so exciting to be with you guys again. I hope you had a few uh, good weeks off and vacations, some fun places. Um, or maybe if you just hunkered down at home, um, I hope you guys were able to enjoy spring break um, and enjoy the nice Michigan weather we, we had a little bit ago there. Um, but uh, we are starting a new series on relationships to others. And the big thing is talking about um, the intersections that we have in our lives and how much those inter- intersections in our relationships matter. Because those things can either point to God or they can point to other things, whether that be the world or ourselves. Um, so these relationships matter to God. Uh, and this week we started off talking about specifically our relationships to parents and what it means to respect our parents, to listen to our parents, and to um, honor and bring them joy. Um, and that can look different for everybody. There's, there's people out there who don't have good relationships with their parents, and respecting them looks different from uh, people who have great relationships with their parents. Um, there's there's an amount of guidance that can come from parents who are very godly people and good godly wisdom can come from them. But in some parents, it's you need to be very careful about what guidance you're getting from them. So in those, in those ways, I hope that the discussions that you guys can have as, as a group can help you kind of walk through some of these on what it means to interact with your parents in a different way. Some may be great, some may need some assistance and some conversation about what that looks like. So I hope you guys are able to have some good conversation about uh, relationships with your parents this week. So we're going to start right off. First question, uh, what, so not directly your parents, what relationships matter most to you and why do those relationships matter most? Question number two. I want you to read from Genesis 2, verses 15 through 25, um, and then answer this question. What relationship mattered to God in the Garden of Eden? You'll see the answer in those verses. And what did he do about it? Question number three. What is the relationship like with your parents? And there's two follow-up questions that I want you to answer as well. Um, Is it a good relationship? And is it a godly relationship? I think those things can actually be different. Just because they're good doesn't mean they're godly. So talk about what your relationships are like with your parents. Question number four, Um, and I hope this can uh, lead to some good and maybe even some funny conversation. Think back, however far this may be for you, uh, to when you started to gain independence. That could be maybe it's your first apartment, you're going off to college, or you bought your first house. Um, Is it? How did your relationship with your parents change? Is it better or is it worse? Did you start viewing your parents in a different way? Question number five, Colossians 3 verse 20 says, Children, obey your parents in everything, for this, is, for this pleases the Lord. Uh, and the question out of this is, when, when have you had a moment that was hard to obey your parents? Question number six, um, and for this, there's uh, on the printout paper that your group's leaders have, there's a few uh, proverbs along the sides of it. So read through those um, along the side, but you'll notice that respect, um, listen, and seeking to bring honor and joy are a big theme that come out of those verses. So the questions are these, how can you do these things in your personal life? Um, And even if you don't have the best relationships with your parents, what does respect look like you, look like for you very specifically? So um, be specific in your answers in this. Don't be so general. For your parents specifically, what does respect look like? Uh, 
All right, to wrap up, like we always do, the last two questions. Uh, is there anything that stuck out to you in devotions or the message this week uh, that you just want to share with your group? And then are there any prayer requests that you want your group to know about? Um, we strongly believe in the power of prayer, and I think it's a huge deal that our groups are praying for each other. So make sure you do that. Um, if you've got extra time and want to dive into the Digging Deeper section, uh, we're looking at the relationship with God and the Trinity. Right, we've talked uh, very little about God and the Trinity and Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. And uh, what does that relationship look like? As we look at relationships with others, what does that relationship look like? So if you want to spend some time uh, talking about that, uh, there's, there's some great questions in there and a few Bible verses to look at as well. So um, if you don't have time, I hope you guys have a great week and we will see you all soon.